Um, so let's say a new physio, somebody's new to the, 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 uh, their physio career. They've been a physio for one year, two years, and they feel that they want to go down the peds route in terms of specialising in that. Uh, you mentioned sort of bow bath as well. So like, what would you say they should do first? Like what are the good courses or, uh, you know, wh where would you, good courses, resources, what would you suggest? Um, difficult to say from Australia side, but from the South Africa side, definitely bow bath. If you can do anything bow bath based, that'd be fantastic. It gives you a good platform of neuroanatomy and neuroplasticity. It gives you a good idea of functional movements and patterns. Yep. Um, so anything bow bath is 100% recommended. That's a great way to start. And I often find a lot of my techniques are based on the bow bath and maybe tweaked a little bit to suit the patient, yeah. but, but definitely bow bath based. Yeah, um, Australia wide, it's slightly different. Australian kind of neurophysios tend to do more exercise rehab with their patients where I tend to take a slightly different approach on the exercise. I don't make the exercise the functional goal. I make the exercise part of the goal. So the exercise is just the means to get to the goal, but it's not my actual goal. My goal is not to strengthen them. Like you're saying earlier, if it's hip dysplasia, my goal is not to strengthen them. My goal is to let them achieve their goal. And that's the part with NDIS as well. It's yep. all their goals based. So if you look at their plan, you'll see their goals laid out in black and white there. But then if you just go one step further and ask them, is there anything else that you want to add to that list? And you often be surprised what they actually add. They haven't had an opportunity to tell the plan manager that they want to actually learn how to swim or, you know, uh, ride a bicycle. Yeah. And those are small goals. But if you can get the small goal and win, in terms of qualifications, you don't actually need to be very qualified in terms of treating someone in the PEDS area. You just need to learn how to interact with them and listen. Yep. That would probably be the two biggest things above the qualifications.